So this past Sunday night, I was doing what probably many in the RV community do on Sunday evenings, and that is watching some of my favorite shows on YouTube. And hopefully our channel's one of your favorites as we do release a new video each week on Sunday evening. And probably like many of you, one of the channels that we love to watch is Keep Your Daydream. And I'm sure you have probably found out if you've been in the RV community for any length of time that Mark and Trish Leach from KYD are very inspiring and we have been watching them for years. However, this past Sunday night, I feel like my respect for them went to a whole new level as they shared some things about what I'm going to call RV trends. And just a quick note as we start to jump in, this video is sponsored by Unique Camping and Marine and I'll share more about them later in the video. So in short, KYD was sharing something that makes them nervous. And quite frankly, the same thing not only makes us nervous, but it makes us downright afraid for some people. And we'll talk about what that was in just a few minutes. First. I wanna say one thing we learned early on from KYD was the philosophy of start small, start now. Just let that sink in for a minute because whether it's the weekend warrior style of RVing, camping, or travel, the idea is to start where you can without necessarily having to just jump all in. Now, this idea that you can start living the RV lifestyle on a smaller scale to start kind of goes against the whole Instagram and YouTube trends of sell it all and move into an RV full time. I mean, just open up any of the popular social networking apps and you're gonna see dozens of posts and videos about family sells it all and hits the road with no plan B. In fact, I ran across a trending sound on Instagram a few weeks ago insinuating that investing in memories and not investing in a 401k was the better option. Now, don't get me wrong, one of our core values is experiences over things, and we value making memories, but we don't want those memories to be the ones that could land our kids on a therapist couch someday. We want to model what responsible adulting looks like for our kids. And when it comes to finances, we do practice and teach our kids about the three things that we do with money, and that is spend, save, and give. Back to what Mark and Trish said in their video this week that makes them nervous. I do think it's important not to get too swept up into the YouTube titles and the Instagram titles and the articles that say, you know, family sells everything to go hit the road, implying like they sold everything and they're living on their savings. Yes. Um, selling appreciating assets to buy de depreciating assets and not having a plan B is something that always makes us nervous when people right into us. So did you hear that? It's when people sell it all, go full time, living off of savings from a house sale with no plan B. Now this idea might be trendy, but like many other trends, this trend lacks some basic wisdom in trading an appreciating asset, a home, for a depreciating asset, an RV. We have seen many in the RV community start to talk about some regrets they've had when it comes to doing just this. If you scroll through Instagram or YouTube, you're gonna see plenty of stories with the titles of family sells it all to go full time, but what happens when that family is ready to come off the road for a season? And if you've been around the full-time travel community for more than a few years, let me tell you something we've seen personally in the last five years, and that is the majority of families that choose a full-time travel lifestyle end up doing so for a season. A great example example of this is our friends John and Kristen over at No Ordinary Path. And Kristen has shared about the struggles that they faced after selling it all to go full time when it was time to come off the road for a season. When I asked Kristen her thoughts on this, she shared, and I do quote, if we could go back, though I would make every effort to keep our house. We found we longed for a true home base to return to when traveling got to be too much for a season. We finally bought a home in Phoenix this year, four years into full timing, but it was very difficult. And we we dumped literally tens of thousands into furnishing and stocking it. We are now truly successfully renting it while we're away, being able to return when we need a break and still get to enjoy the travel lifestyle. We wish we would have done this from the start. While RV life is fun and amazing, the RV experience is enhanced and stays even more fun and amazing when you can take a break every once in a while. Even KYD shared this very thing in their video on Sunday. Having a home base, mm -hmm. regardless of if it's a long-term rental or short-term rental, has somewhat improved our life on the road. It's just kind of nice to know that you do have a place to go back to, even if maybe it's being rented in your mind, 
you have an option. That's right. And that, cr and that does provide some level of peace of mind when you're on the road. This is the exact same approach we have taken to RVing. In 2020, we were full time for most of the year and we decided we wanted to have a place to take a break when we wanted to regroup, be able to clean out the RV, just all of those things. So we sold our home in Colorado, traveled for a while, and then purchased a home in Florida that we use as a vacation rental when we're traveling. Having a home base has enhanced our RV experience and made it much more enjoyable as we now get to RV and we never feel like we have to RV. One thing we have learned is the wise saying that there is safety in a multitude of counselors. And something we do when we're faced with large life decisions is we always like to talk to several of our mentors and we ask them about their thoughts regarding the decision we're considering. We've learned that others around us can sometimes see those blind spots that we would have missed otherwise and save us from making a potential large mistake. We always suggest this when considering a large life decision such as selling your house, buying an RV and choosing to live this lifestyle. Seek counsel from those that are around you that you know that are older and wiser. And chances are people in your life can help you look at things from all angles and maybe even help you to have that plan B to fall back on. In true KYD fashion, Mark and Trish shared some great wisdom when they mentioned something that they love to hear in regards to making a decision when people are choosing the full-time RV lifestyle. One of the things we love hearing is that someone sold their house that served a wonderful purpose when they were raising their family. Yes. And they have taken some equity out and they have purchased a smaller home, maybe correct size for mm -hmm. them, so that they are more flexible to hit the road. And then they long-term rent out that home if they live in an area that's not a vacation rental. They long-term rent that smaller home while they hit the road and then they know they've got this place to come back to. So what's the best option for you? We hope this video provides just some food for thought as you consider and decide for yourself, for your family, and your situation what the RV life will look like for you. One question to consider in decision making as it relates to the RV lifestyle is what will bring not only inner peace, but financial peace for you in the long run. I love this quote from Benjamin Franklin, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. I do want to thank Unique Camping and Marine for their continued support of this channel. And since we have started using the Unique Toilet Cleaner and Drop-In Pods, we have no more smells in our waste tanks, including our black tank. A question we're asked often is how to keep those dreaded black tank smells away. And we're so happy to recommend Unique because it actually works. We found other tank treatments we were using would actually kill bacteria or just mask smells. And the Unique products are different because they don't kill the bacteria. And it's important to have a healthy colony of bacteria because that's actually what helps in keeping the smells away, not to mention keeping black and gray tanks clean. We have partnered with Unique for a 15% off discount for our viewers on their complete lineup of products at the link below. So you'll have to let us know in the comments below your thoughts on this topic and where you find yourself today in the RV journey. We love hearing from you, but one of the things we have seen over and over is how great the RV community you guys are with sharing ideas with each other in the comment section of our videos. If we don't see you out on the road or at the campground, we'll see you in the next video.